the road this week, we've been highlighting some interesting places here in St. Landry Parish to do and see. And one of the interesting places is right up the road here in Opelousas. <laughs> The city of Opelousas is full of history. Take the oldest governor's mansion of Louisiana. The mansion was used as a residence for Governor Thomas Overton Moore in 1862 during the Civil War when Opelousas briefly served as the capital of the state. But in 2016, the mansion was destroyed by arson. And this is what remains of it today. But all is not lost. Where some see rubble, others see potential. The history still lives here, and our intention is to eventually, um, maybe not rebuild it, but have a structure here that will allow us to have a museum to uh, showcase the history of this building. Sherry Landry and Roseanne Mitchell are with the oldest governor's mansion in Louisiana Foundation. The group is working to make sure the mansion's story is not forgotten. So for now, we're hoping to do uh, a garden here. Uh, a memory garden and re remember the history, the timeline of the building, and not just that, also the other thing we're involved with, which is the Women's Hall of Fame for this parish. The garden will also pay tribute to the women who have been inducted into the parish's Hall of Fame. And we want people to know that uh, when history happens, women are usually right there in the forefront. We have 24 inductees into our St. Landry Parish Women Hall of Fame as of now and we intend to continue to recognize those women and to use this site as a way of giving tourists the opportunity to come and visit and learn more about them, as well as the history of the building. After all, there's an old adage when it comes to history. If you don't know your history, uh, I think you're doomed. You know, you, you need to know your history, the good and the bad parts. So that's what we're, we're here for. If you'd like to help the foundation with their work, they have an event coming up for the St. Landry Parish Women Hall of Fame induction ceremony. That event sort of doubles as a fundraiser for the foundation. It's being held November 7th at the Delta Grand Theater.